In this episode of The Big Vision Show, we're gonna talk about what's next for you in your business. Hi there, my name is Max Simon and welcome to The Big Vision Show. This is all about how you can take your big vision and turn it into a living, breathing reality right now. We've been getting some very good questions on our new website and today, Jesse asks, I've been doing a lot of different things online in my business lately and nothing has really popped. How do I figure out what to do next? And Jesse, thank you so much for asking this question. So many people are thinking the same thing, like what's next? And here's how to answer that question. Now first, it's important for you to realize that your business is all about serving the needs and problems of your tribe. Now that probably sounds like, <laughs> of course. But the thing is that so many people create products and programs and events because it's what they wanna do rather than getting really specific and clear on the problems and desires and needs and challenges of their tribe. So it's of the utmost importance that when you're thinking about what's next, you start by asking the question, what are the specific problems that I'm solving for my tribe? And if you don't know, and you're like, how do I even figure that out? The answer is very complicated. This is a very complicated answer. You ask them. <laughs> That's right. You actually have dialogues and conversations to talk to people about what are they going through? What are their challenges? What's up for them? And if you're thinking, well, people wouldn't readily share that with me, here's how you inspire them to do that. Now, I'm sure you already do this to a certain extent, but just to really lock it in, you come from a place of true service, of true, genuine desire to help them. And you really engage with them from a level of, look, I would love to support you and help you to change your life. And I'd like to hear what's that next thing look like. So tell me, what, what's showing up for you that's making you struggle? What are some challenges you're facing right now? What's showing up in your life that you'd like some help with? And let me figure out whether this is something I could actually help you solve. So take a moment to just like feel into that when I say that to you. If somebody said that to you from a place of service, from a place of caringness, from a real genuine desire to help, would you tell them? The answer is yes. The second part of figuring out what's next is to decide what makes you unique to solve those problems. And so many people struggle with this because they're like, nothing makes me unique. <laughs> which isn't true because when you think about solving somebody's problems, all you have to do is bring it back to your own personal experience. So like what are some unique things that you do to solve those problems for yourself? As an example, let's say that somebody has the problem that they are not waking up with a lot of energy and enthusiasm for their life. Well, in my case, one of the unique and super weird things that I do is when I wake up in the morning, I meditate and I do some breathing and I move my body in kind of a funny way. And <laughs> in fact, I actually have a shaking exercise I do where I like literally shake my body for a long time and it shakes off the energy of the night and helps just move the energy through me and gets me going in the mornings, right? So that's a unique kind of thing that I do and when I talk to people about that, when I tell people the kind of interesting morning routine that I have, people wanna know about it, especially if they're having the problem of, you know, I don't wake up with a lot of energy in the mornings. So second question is what do you do unique to solve the problems of your tribe figure that out and that's the second step in getting clear on what's next for you and the third piece of the puzzle then is to start working with people as quickly as possible once you're clear on the problems you're solving and the unique thing that you want to teach them to do it you see so many people get in this preparation mode and this launch mode and this I gotta figure it out for years and years and years mode and instead what I found is that you're in business to serve people you're in business to help 
and you're in business to start making money right now. So instead of p pushing it off and waiting, go start finding people with these problems, talking to them about the solutions that you have, and then bring them on as clients as quickly as possible so that you can get in the energy of not only doing something new and fun, but so you can bring the money in right now because that's what will make your business grow and be successful. So that's it for today's episode of The Big Vision Show. I hope you loved it. And if you did, please share it with all your friends on Facebook and Twitter and just like shout it from the mountaintops. And make sure that you tune in to next week's episode because that's when we'll be doing our live drawing about who won an episode of The Big Vision Show all about them. Or it could be you. So you've got to tune in to see if you won next week. And here's the big vision question of the day. I'd love to hear what do you want me to cover on some of the future episodes? You know, what are some challenges that you're dealing with? What are some questions that you have that I could make part of the content for this show? Please leave a comment right below with your answers and of course when you do that I'll go ahead and help you solve those problems. It would be my pleasure. So thanks for tuning in. I will see you really soon in next week's episode. And again, if you're new to our world, please head on over to bigvisionbusiness.com. Become an insider member of this amazing tribe. I'll see you soon. Much love.